Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and very much a welcome here to Vanilla TV, where we have an awesome night of Team Fortress action in store for you guys, as we have the cracker up in the high divisions, or in the high leagues, or whatever you want to call it. It's two very, <laughs> very good teams going up against each other. That's how I want to call it here at Vanilla TV, where tonight we have BFF going up against Broder, and that's one hell of a match, something uh, which is going to be pretty hard to predict. But uh, if someone can predict this, the guy who's going to be next to me tonight. My name is Pledge, and with me today is going to be the legendary Bites. Bites, how are you doing today? Yeah, I'm fine, thank you very much. Long day at work. Just hoping to have an exciting game, like you said. I, I was said to Cadis and uh, Debussy uh, this afternoon that we should have two golden caps. And I believe I got <laughs> some uh, Smackdown talk from both of them. Um, I, I'm just... Yeah, I, I, I heard some rumors, like, I, I, I saw a Marvel uh, posting of Vanilla TF2 earlier today as well, like, 20-minute game, 20-minute <laughs> map, you know, stuff like that. Um, I have no idea exactly what's going to happen. I'm mostly very curious, which is what I posted myself, and really, this is going to show us <laughs> sort of the state of the game at the moment, by I really want to say. Just to, just to reiterate and quote what they said to me, I said to them, uh, Oi, can you two uh, make an entertaining game? You know, like two golden caps. Thank you very much. You know, heart face. And then Cadus goes, We will get wrecked. Maybe Zeb wants to show, uh, slow his boys down when it's about to hit the cap limit for for the sake of the fans. And then Zebosite re retorts with a, You never think you never think you will win, Cadus. You you never ever think you'll win. I had to censor that because he uh, swore. And he goes, Noob. And uh, Cadus then comes out with an even better reply, going, You you always think you'll win, but so far you've lost just as much as me. <laughs> uh, so, it's true though. Like, it, it's, it's very much so true. Broder se seemed very confident at the start of the season. Like, let's go into this and then let's try and challenge Epsilon. And the game against Epsilon, it was a train wreck. That's really as simple as we could yeah. say that. Broder got mauled. And BFF so far, like, th they got a tie against Crack Clan. And to be fair, that was a result. I don't think a lot of people suspected them to get a map off of Crackland. They looked a lot better. Uh, but it was a really good game. I liked that game a lot. Um, and really, Broder versus BFF, as we said earlier, it's hard to predict. But I think if anyone is going to give an edge to someone, it's probably going to be Broder still. Yeah. I don't know. My, my, yeah, I, I, I tend to agree with that. Like, I don't know why. Even though BFF have some really talented players, it, like with BFF, BFF, if if they're like on form and um, you know they're on fire, then I reckon they could beat Broder, maybe five one four two, something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, but they've all got to be on fire, if you see what I mean. Whereas Broder, only two or three of them need to be on full cylinders, and the rest can just be on you know <laughs> the average cylinder or just above and win. Um, just because of the sheer aggression they have, but um, will be interesting. The uh, between the two, I would ask for your predictions on this map, uh, Pledge. Oh, I don't <laughs> know, man. Like it's it's a hard one. Like I, me and and Admirable were talking about the the other game, obviously, which happened this weekend, last weekend on on Sunday, which was Doctrinal versus Quarantine, mm -hmm. and you have this sort of two separate, like separate leagues going on in one division which is very weird to see um and it's, this has happened a couple of times before but usually there's like a top area middle area and a bottom area now yep. it's literally split in the middle there's four good teams and four baddish teams and obviously one of the baddish teams dropped pyrogen and the other three teams are going to be duking out for for um playoff relegation but yeah. they, these teams are going for playoff spots the winner playoff spots and the winner who takes this is a step closer to the grand final most likely against epsilon because they're gonna finish what first or second i think that is already confirmed because they are playing six games total and they got 10 map wins after 10 maps. yeah, yeah, so no, they're, yeah they're epsilon already... is top two epsilon's in the grand final i think i'm quite sure that is already mathematically <laughs> correct um but all these teams, Crack Clan and BFF and Broder, are all fighting for that second place, which gives basically a direct ticket to the semi-finals. Other so than having to play quarterfinals against teams first and having a very, very tough road for grand finals. As we said, BFF tied against Crack Clan. That was a close game. I'm expecting Broder and BFF to have a close game. And I think later this week, it's Crack Clan versus Broder. So there's stuff happening all over the place. <laughs> it's going to be hard to predict any of those two matches. Yeah, I know. Because the... Uh... The hype uh, was so erratic, so to speak, you know, with the result that came with it. It's just so hard to predict now. Obviously, Epsilon just steaming everyone, but everyone thinking that Broder had the massive potential. We saw last week they um, steamrolled. I can't remember which team was it that they played. You uh, casted that with War, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Um, it was Quarantine, wasn't it? Quite sure it was sure. Quarantine. Yeah, it was Quarantine. Yeah. yeah, Quarantine. And they just looked like a 
you know, a top, I would say at least a top three team, if not top two team. Like, they could easily uh, beat Crack Clan with how they played. Um, just, it, I don't know. I don't know what happened to them when they played against Epsilon. So this is going to be interesting. I'm going to come up with a prediction on this one. Ooh, uh... Are you going to go for the Golden Cap prediction? Are you going to do it? Like, <laughs> oh, you I, went there. Because I, I'm honestly, like, I really think... <laughs> That I think on both of these maps, if we want to play it safe with our predictions, we're gonna to have to say tie on Battle on Tie on Granary and then a golden cap to either team. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Like that's the safe prediction. But if you're gonna to have to go brutal, if you're gonna to have to go with your gut, who's gonna win this one? Uh BFF 6-5. Five. Golden Cap. Right. Six <laughs> five? Alright, yeah. Jesus. I don't think we've seen that high score of a game on Battle this season yet. <laughs> I remember well, casting a couple of six five or seven sixes the past couple of seasons, but six five this season has not happened yet, I believe. Yeah, which is surprising though, because a lot of teams have been really aggressive, obviously, which tends to being a roll and so on and so forth. Um, we have to wait and see how aggressive they actually are. Like me and Amaro were talking about this one, and it's literally the first ten minutes. Team seems to take it easy all the time. Like you don't see very quick rounds coming in for I, for for any of the teams really in the Premiership this season. How is Broder going to start? How is BFF going to start? It's going to be crucial to the rest of this match because, as we saw earlier on Sunday. Um, Quarantine got a 3-0 lead within no time. And then Doctrino played the, the other 45 minutes of the game. They played perfectly fine. But the first 50 minutes, they messed up, got 3-0 down. That start is so crucial, especially on the first map of the best of two. You, you want to start correctly. You don't want to look at two that... You don't want to get that 2-0 deficit going immediately. You're going to have to be careful. And we're going to have to see how both teams are going to start here. Again, BFF is in the blue. And uh, Broder is going to be in the red, and I'm quite sure they're actually going live here. Yes, they are going live, fight. So, right now, let's see which of the teams is going to start here better. We have the ETF 12 season, week, season 14, week number 7, I believe it already is, here between Broder in the red and BFF in the blue. I did that one backwards. Doesn't matter. It's powered by Twitch.tv. Pledge and Biter on the microphones. First middle's going underway. How do these teams start? Tech is aggressive. That's how they start. Whoa. Okay, this is getting focused up so much, though. We get a double kill. <laughs> against Tech and Bibbon. Um, and Kadis actually coming out trumps there, just carrying his team there on middle completely. He went down for all his cores, but he, look at that. They're five down here, Broder, with only Mirren alive, which m enough though, Pledge, because obviously he's only got 48% and um, Hat is still building. Will they have Uber in time if they push the last? That's the question. It's the question is, how aggressive are they going to push? You see Bibbon already picking up that pyro. We've seen this quite a bit on Batlands. And Cookie picking up the sniper rifle. If they can get one pick, or, or if they can delay and stall for long enough, they might be able to go. But BFF straight in going from this top left-hand side. Scout, Soldier, Uber. But that pyro wastes so much time. And Marilyn already on 90%. Is he going to be able to get it in time, though? 60 health. Now back to full health. And I think Broder might be able to hold on. They to are going to hold this. They, they need to get Cadis down. They need to get Cadis down, but he might do. Cadis is on one HP. HP. He's on one HP. Oh, he's down, yeah. Oh, that pyro. Um, Bibbon played so, so well. They're buying Broder the uh, the save point, I suppose, from that round instead of conceding it. Now they're going to try and recap, but there is a soldier on the spiral here, Pledge. And he's trying to defend, but he's going to be picked off if he doesn't get out, which he does correctly. Now uh, they need to be careful for a back cap. Where is the other scout? I'm just looking. Let's see. Quad is walking around. He's not actually showing anything just yet. I'm looking at the other one, but Tech is still sitting on last. Like, even if BFF is going to defend this, they will. Broder cannot lose any more players here. They're probably going to lose this fire immediately. It's going to take them a little bit of time, though, to do that. Quad and Beaver and both are, both are going to make their way up to that spire now. And Broder, really, because they lost two players at six versus four, and Rib actually went down as well. There's no other way than to Uber just retreat advantage, out. Uber advantage. And they've actually Uber in middle. Is the Pyro going to be effective this time though? For, he, he couldn't get actually to main at the moment, so Bibbon goes down as Pyro. There is a scout on the point, no one's focusing him. Merlin almost has the Uber, but he goes down. It's three versus... Oh, it's just Tech alive, and it's Cadis now, and he's going to clean up. And wow, it's 1-0 to BFF. Did you put that on the cards? Hmm. <laughs> well, it's a great start coming out for BFF, and I said this before. I said this before the game. If Broder or any... Obviously BFF as well. If you get 2-0 down in like 5 or 10 minutes, you're going to be fighting against yourself mainly. The momentum is going to be very tough to actually win around. And BFF, if they get a good middle, I think Broder's already going to be feeling bad. And we can see Tech again going aggressive there underneath. Waiting a little bit though. Zebesai waiting Ooh. as well. Rim immediately goes yeah. down. Great bomb from Dalith, but there's a oh. lot of frags going Broder's favor here. Indeed, yeah, they are three down, two down for Broder though. It's crucial here that uh, Broder don't lose any other players, so otherwise it'd be about three versus three, but they don't. And now Broder have replied and said, you know what, yeah, 
You're not going to win this map that easy. And uh, yeah, Cadus managed to drop out, and they will be able to hold this spiral. Um, Ubers are pretty even. They're looking for it. They're probably going to bail, and then obviously the last couple of players are going to come in. Um, key here is that Rib, obviously, with half help or so, now going to come in on the fight. Cookie's already gone down. That's not a good job from Broder. You really want to keep your scouts alive around Spire as long as you can. Indeed. And, and now they've just lost tech. As well. yeah, yeah, there's no force either. Rib oh, now going Rib. down as well. Wow. Confusion. There seems to be a lot of confusion now. What can Zebo do? Zebo's going to be saying, "Stay here, Merlin. Let's try and hold as long as possible." Dalith goes down for all his woes, but he does manage to force the Uber off Merlin, and now they have Uber advantage. Zebo is going to go for the pick, maybe to force early. He can't force it early, and Merlin goes down. So what can Zebo do here? I'm just looking over him. Can he force it? He can indeed. He has done his job, but unfortunately, they are going to lose three players here, Broder, including Bibbon. They are, they are two players down though, um, BFF, so do you reckon they'll push here? They should uh, do. They're, they're, they're probably not going to push, they're going to try and see what they can do. BFF is really going to try and make their way through to that spire, but they got to be very, very careful. Cadiz is absolutely key. If he goes down, stuff is going to go down, I can tell you that one. And that yeah. obnoxious soldier and Risa, that's a proper pain in the ass here for BFF. Oh, it's going to stall that one weak. out. And look at the health on BFF, they're so weak. If they they really have to be careful. Hat is 17, was 14 earlier, and it's really going to go both ways. Hawks takes that Maryland though. Great play by him. They've and got Hat to push. did not go down. Quad didn't go down. Dallas not going down yet. Now there we go. And, be, and Broder's going to push. Hat doesn't have it. He's going to lose it. Yeah. Hat here. Hat's so going to lose it if they push. They've got to push him. Surely Hat's on no health. Oh, where was the aggression off the soldier? Cadus is on his own, buying a lot of time, taking down Cookie. Cookie, and Cadus is going to go down. But he does save Hat, which means that they have Uber to reply with. Although. Oh, they're actually Ubered, off, Ubered onto the point, but they are two players down. They have no medic, remember, because Mirrell and Dad on the balcony, so Rib goes down here. It's a very smart play. I've got to say, Cadus is literally carrying his team here with all the defense and uh, transitional plays, but Beaven does go down again. There is a soldier um, going down here for Brodov by Quad. I'm just looking around. Let's see. The game right now finally took a long time. With Rib the going down. Broder might, yeah, Broder might have to go a little bit back, but Rib now is going to spawn. And the game might turn into a little bit of a stalemate situation. You can see BFF taking it a little bit easier. Like, let's build this Uber. Maryland saying the exact same thing. I don't I don't believe there's a crit streak. You always kind of want to double check that. There is no crit streak. So both teams completely standing off. First breeding room that we got this game. It yeah. took a while. <laughs> but this game has been very fast paced so far. And Beaver seems to be the first guy to switch up to something he's picking up that sniper rifle sniping from that bottom like the sort of bottom beneath balcony i i hate that sniper spot as a medic if broder pushes on this one they gotta be careful that either the body shot or the clean headshot on the demo is usually crucial here comes rip though rip is not gonna have anything happen they have no idea that the sniper is there wow, they're just it's really gonna down. come down to beaver and he doesn't get anything uber gets destroyed and Marilyn uh really just keeping every one of his team alive no one is dying here and hat trying to run away as uh, he only has beaver with him kate is now running all the way out as well but I think they're just going to chase the medic out and it's going to come down to Cadus. can he protect this medic his brother going to be able to chase this one out I think they're going to pick up the spire no problem whatsoever and that sniper really came back to just hurt them more so than help them out indeed no I'm um, I don't know what happened there for BFF on middle I mean was it the fact that you know their posture on middle wasn't aggressive enough they weren't holding far enough you know, further forward with the spam and they just got in for free Broder without having to pop early and now Zebasai, Mirrolin's PSS, Pocket Soldier Syndrome, has just gone down. Um, so they're going to be playing it smart here, I think, players. And dropping back, taking their time, they need to rush. Do you, and, do you uh, think they know they have like a slight advance? I guess they could have dot mm. uh, pushed this. They're not going to do it. Like They're going to play it simple. And as soon as they have 100, they're going to move in slightly. I think Zebo went down on purpose, now that I think of it, because he picked up that heavy weapons guy. I'm quite... Like, a lot of teams... Beaverin picks up heavy weapons guy as well, by the way. There's a lot of teams nowadays that favor this heavy, pushing last. There's 450 damage that you can just soak up with a single class while dishing out damage yourself. And they're going to have to see how is Broder going to use this one. I haven't seen Zebo yet. I, I'm quite sure he's going to hang around that main area. Uh, but, but it's heavy versus come heavy. In. Yeah, it's now top left in Aronic coming in. And here comes the heavy. This strategy, 450 HP. How is this one going to work, Byte? It's a distraction. He's using it as a distraction. The heavy is a distraction, but he goes down. The scout gets in on the point, and it's going to be one at all. Wow. The, the heavy was the clear distraction. He, instead of what you were saying, you know, the 450 HP, mm -hmm. he was soaking damage, but the thing was, he was a distraction for everyone to focus heavy, because obviously, once you do that, then someone can sneak in, and that's what happened with the scout. Sneaky, sneaky, and it's now one all. 
Yeah, well played there from Broder, actually executing that pretty much perfectly. And 1-0 was pretty much a start that we wanted as spectators here on Balance. The first map in ETF 12 Season 14, week number 7 between BFF and Broder. And look at the aggression of the scouts. Again, Rip goes down. The plan from BFF very clearly is to take that Delman out of their fight consistently. Every middle so far, Rip has been shot down. And BFF pushing on this one, immediately taking control of this middle point. The third middle going to BFF once again. Yeah, Rib going down though instantly, getting picked off so quickly. Cadis getting that extra sticky damage onto Rib is proving to be a hazard for him. So I would suggest he goes balcony. That's all he's going to try and kill the Doman, but he gets shut down by Quad there. Beautiful play by Quad, hitting down the meat shots, laying down the law. Should I say the Danish law? And now they're pushing up <laughs> to last through bottom right, and they both have Uber, so they can easily hold here, Broder. Just depends on how well, because Zeversite is down, remember? For another second, he's actually just spawned now, so all is good. And they've actually Ubered in already! What's Merlin gonna do? Yeah, they're reasonably quick on this one. They're just gonna back out here again. Standard Ubers, force that Uber, then back out. And depending on how much advantage the enemy got, you back out a little bit further. That's exactly what BFF did. And now comes the repush. This is the time where the pressure comes down. And with Tech going down, BFF is gonna fancy their chances here. It's six versus five. Now they need to find a way to get in here. Going oh, from the top, top all going scouts. from top. Wow! Top left. So many bottom people left. there. Scout on the point, bottom left, Skulls are in onto the Medic! And they've got the point there, oh. that was... You see, would you blame Tech for that, for going down? I See, I don't know, like... You I can didn't maybe... see the situation in which he went down, I guess. I that, think it was Main it. trying to push and take, get, uh, take down um, a pick there. I think it was a Scout or a Soldier, but he got picked off instead, so... Let's see, let's take a look at Rib's health yeah. here from Cadis, because I think Cadis is getting that extra sticky. Yeah, he's already there, you see. Yeah, he's already there. Yeah, Rip was very late to this one, but he's going to play balcony. He's been he's been picked off time after time again. He's going to get picked off again. Look at that first blood again, going to Dallas for taking that it's rip. Four versus four though. I oh, know they've got the point here, but the, in fact, look at that fight. Four down for BFF. They are going to cap the point here, but they have Merlin. So all this means is they just need to get heals and recap. They need to get in now though, or it's going to be too late. Where is Merlin? Did Merlin drop all the way back or something? Cookie took the health back off Maryland actually, so Maryland had to go back at least a little bit. Did not get the full health and the still, force, what the is force. around? They're Where gonna have to force squad? this. Soldier's mm -hmm. surely gonna force here. Just take you like Dalit seems to be hanging back at least for now. Interesting. BFF waiting for that to happen. And I think so far, like if we can round it up, I think of the four middles that we've seen so far, three of them Rip went down first. He really seems to just suffer from the pressure. Dalit spots them coming in from the resub side. Dalit immediately going down. Again, Rip goes down. The guy doesn't have a good game just yet. And Broder okay, is on his own. Okay, this is gonna surely die here. Yeah, he gets picked down by two scouts. And they haven't capped second, but they are minus two here, and the scouts are pretty weak. One of them's pretty weak. They've actually forced you, but creating distraction. That sword just surely gonna go down. Yep, he's going behind. He's gonna get picked off so easily. Surely. He's 4 HP. Hawk's running with that equalizer. <laughs> which I don't agree with at all this season being brought in. Um, and Hat gets a slice. He's on 93%. There is a scout on the point. No, oh, Bibbin, Bibbin. Oh, oh my god. I thought Bibbin would have had that. No problem whatsoever. Rib, where are you standing? He's actually going all the way back. 18 HP. He's going to be a little bit careful if the scout rolls through there and gets one pistol shot. He might have dropped to the floor there. But uh, Tech picking up that spy. i got to be honest. I've costed Broder twice this season, but I've never cost a Tech. Uh, twice it has been Jukebox. So I'm very curious to see the French soldier at work this game around. You probably costed him last week, actually, with war against quarantine the guy really tech has been a revelation last season playing good again this season and uh, really it's gonna come down to how often can they get under the pressure of BFF because BFF keeps pushing it oh my god that was so close and tech actually missing the stop forces the Uber though quite early and Broder might be able to want to defend this one I think Cadis has it all on lockdown though yeah, no, I think they do, and it was rightful for Broder to drop out here, but I'm pretty sure BFF will be thinking, you know what, they should have Uber, which they don't actually, so I don't know how they've been building here, with maybe with someone with gunboats. In fact, they have a soldier with gunboats, that's why. Is it gunboats? No, he's not wearing the gunboats. No, no, no. It's very slow there, pledged like at least a minute there to build the Uber, which is a bit too long for my liking, but nonetheless, they need to push now, pledge. They need to push now. If they don't push now, they're going to run out. It's 60% already for BFF. It's getting closer and closer. It takes them forever. They're gonna, they're gonna go in now. They're gonna Uber in both soldiers, I reckon. Yeah, here we go. Both soldiers are gonna get all Ubered in. One gets air shot. It doesn't matter. That'll Thanks. finish his job. And hey, they're, not gonna, they're not gonna be able to ha reach hats. No way. But they will cap this in time. Will they cap this in time? They will cap this in time. Yep. 
And in fact, someone tries to force the medic, and Tech tried to force Hat, who is on 86 health, but they have lost two players here. Now, all Broder needs to do is get out. If they get out in time, but they don't, Merlin goes down, so they have no heals. That soldier's going to be picked off, surely. He is on no double health. Backup. Rip goes down as well, but double there is backup. a double. Kadus, can he go huge? There's a lot to Kadus. Here comes the big sticky jump. What can the scouts do? I oh, want a soldier in as well. Soldier. Bibbon goes down. Cookie's going to get destroyed oh. as well. Great coordination there, though. Cookie does manage to get the frag off on Kadis there at the end, as Kadis did drop to his death. But pretty much Broder coordinated that properly. The only way they could have gone out of that pressure was to double back up. So exactly what they did. Cookie and Bibbon getting that cap time done, not capping it off, but at least saving them in the middle point. And as Kadis goes down, they might want to go completely balls deep here, Bite. Without <laughs> Kadis there, they could have just, they could gain some ground here, but they're taking it easy. They're going to wait to build that Uber. And that is kind of the Broder style of doing things, at least at the moment. Moment. Playing it safe. Okay, this is on his own. Oh, he's been supported now. That's soldier managed to get out there. I'm just looking at the damage at the moment for this particular round um, pledge. And Cadus is on 1,511. Hox is on 1,347. Yeah. So some big hitters there by Hox and Cadus. But Dalith goes down for all his webs, and they are going to be able to hold this Broder. They haven't even got Uber. I don't know why they're pushing it so far forward. They have lost the player. Cadus is. It's going to have to, yep, he's going to have to be uh, saved here. And Cadus is on his own. They are three players down here, BFF. It all went wrong when they went in too early for my liking. Cadus is going to have to drop out. Will his famous sticky trap onto the spiral? No, he's not even going to go for it. In fact, he's just going to go to last and be content in holding last, hopefully, if they even give him that option, because Broder obviously are a round down with 15 here comes minutes Skater. gone. Skater's going to try and put some damage here, but I think he's only going to pay for it with his own life, as he's going to end up going down, and Broder's going to cap this one off, and really, that was BFF being aggressive and not expecting that they actually, like... I think they just, they're, they're complete, like, their, their path actually go back on Choke, got completely cut off by the spam from Broder, had to go down on bottom, and really <laughs> against the massive Uber advantage, you're just going to get destroyed there, and Broder did exactly what they needed to do now, fifth middle, is Rip going to get out first again? Let's say they're very cautious there, okay, this has dropped back a little bit, quad goes down for going a little bit. Far forward and overextending. A soldier's been spotted. He's going to get picked off instantly. But Dalith goes down as well. Now soldier's about to go down as well as Epicite. It's four versus four. This is really clutch play. Whoever gets the next pick will win. Medic managed to surf it. Merlin doing a really good job. Cookie and oh, Bibbon wow. cleaning up. And it's just hat alive. He may not have Uber for last. It depends how quick and aggressive Broder push here, Pledge. This this was the first clear example of why Cookie and Bibbon are that good at the game. This was the first real example of which we can say, look, this is why these guys are good. Hitting all the shots they need to hit. And that middle really went their way because the protection on rip was perfect. And the cleaning up afterwards absolutely spot on. And a perfect middle coming out for Broder. Now with a 2 all scoreline, they're really going to be looking to get their first lead here in this game. In week number 7 of ETF 12 season 14. Obviously uh, for those wondering why Hat committed suicide but he had to think about it he will spawn now in time to heal all his men he won't have Uber in time anyway because he was being chased so he'd rather die early and spawn now so he can heal all his men if for those wondering why he committed suicide I thought I had to put that in there. Have actually Ubered in here top right here they are using a pyro can that pyro go down? He does go down too, a little bit too early so this is a bit Bit too dangerous here for BFF. Beaver is still alive though. Cadus has been focused. Cadus goes down. And it's now 3 2 to Broder. First lead minutes. coming out for Broder, definitely. It took them a long while, but they got the first lead now. And to be fair, you said before the game it's going to be 6 5, and I told you, ha! We have not seen a score like that this entire season. You're lying to me. <laughs> but so far, we're perfectly on track to get to that score line. And we're going to have to wait and see. Again, Rip stayed alive that last middle. He played it spot on. Is he going to be able to do the same with the help of the rest of his team? It's going to be crucial for victory. Oh, everything's being focused on Rib. Rib goes down. In fact, BFF had a clear strategy there. And Merlin, Rib, and Tech go down. Soldier goes for the bomb onto the Medic, who is on 42 health. Unlucky, Zebosai did the right thing there. Nothing he could do. And, uh, yeah, they are five down here. And they're just dying all here one by one. Um, and BFF uh, players uh, had a clear strategy into what to do there. Uh, with the Soldier and the Scout, the Soldier jumped from Valley over onto their boxes, landed onto the slope. And the scout came underneath, and um, uh, I think it was, who was it? Was it Quad? I think it was Quad, focused Quite on sure, Rib. Yeah. Oh, you can see Hawks and Techno actually going down, but that middle strategy was absolutely spot on for BFF. They had a plan, they executed it perfectly and managed it now with a full Uber charge advantage. Uh, They're going to go to last. They don't They don't need anything. Look at that. Hat was backing out of there. Broder got the kills, but the backup comes in. And Quad is going to be able to clean that one up as we have a three-all scoreline now coming in. 
And really, yeah. with 12 minutes left on the clock, this can go <laughs> any way and again back and forth. That's how quick this game goes. Indeed. And Cadis is there pretty early once again. Same time as Rib, actually. Rib getting there even as well, so they're both pretty weak. Rib's going to get focused here. He needs to be careful. Rib, you're very, very weak. What can he do? Can he be protected? That soldier's going to get... Oh, Marilyn goes down. Rib needs to drop out a little bit, and they're losing too many players here, Broda. And now BFF coming out with a reply. <laughs> Bibbon on 2 HP. And it's all up to Tech, really. I'm not sure where Tech is. Oh, in fact, Tech's going for the medic. Oh. Oh my god, I cannot believe Tech, how are you still alive? <laughs> Bane Train comes out. Uh, sort of Cadis and Tech were in a staring contest there with Hat. It was quite funny to see in Valley. Tech was just reloading his rockets, then decided to jump in. Got the two rockets onto Hat, but they were not two, uh, two sort of straight rockets. And BFF getting a massive advantage out of that one. And they're probably going to be able to, to be fair, like the only thing really stopping them from going onto the spire is the fact that Broder just has everyone alive. And even though they have an uber advantage, it's going to be a tough one to push, especially with losing one scout. Indeed. They're gonna, they're gonna go from reset now and they might have a clear go, but only with one scout? That's a lot of capture time you're missing. They've Ubered, they've Ubered, they've Ubered. Cadis is on his own. Cadis needs to be really careful. He's, oh, he got air shotted. Oh, he's so, so weak. Cadis gets picked off by Zebosai saying, no way is that yours. No way staying alive here, but they are three down here, bro. I don't know how that worked out for them, Pledge, but it somehow did. <laughs> oh, Uber dead. advantage, I guess. <laughs> oh, they're gonna have Uber in time. Oh, this is close. 95%. Someone's going to sneak on the point here, surely. Yep, there we go. They're going to try and force this. And they do have the Uber. If they clean up the scout on the point, surely they're going to clean him up as well. It's going to be three down here. Surely. I oh, know Quad managed to get out. Mm. He's running for his life. He's not completely out just yet. Look at that. Broder's chasing all the way out. But Kate is taking that cookie pretty much immediately. At least capping power down to Bibbon. But really, with Kate is still alive, it's going to be a tough one to cap. And Broder might be doing themselves a favor if they just back out. They decide to go oh, for this down. one and at least put a lot of pressure. Rip now goes down. They have to back off. I would not be surprised to see BFF immediately going in, not wasting any time as Rip still with 12 main. seconds left on his respawn time. He's not going to be there to defend this one. Got a lot to the pyro. He needs to go main. What can he do? He's doing his job. Scout on the point. Oh, oh, he managed to save Soldier on the point though. And it's 4 3 2 BFF. Oh my god. It's, it's still 10 minutes remaining here, Fledge. Yeah. Two thirds down in this game. Still one third left on the clock. And this is one hell of a high scoring game. Probably already the highest scoring game in Premiership this season. <laughs> um, because we've seen quite a bit of 5 nils and 6 1s. But really no close games where people just cab loads and loads. And if this goes on, once again, it's going to be some sort of 6 6 game. Gonna have to wait and see. Is Rib going to be the target again? I can only assume so. Bite. Yeah, no, indeed. In fact, they've left him this time. They've actually left him. And it looks like when if they don't focus Rib, it all goes to... Oh, Mirror has been focused. Managed to surf it really well. So, oh, Soldier picks him off. And Hat goes down as well. And it's Soldier and Scout underneath from BFF. They're about, they're about to be picked up by Cookie, surely. There you can see Cookie cleans up. And they're going to be saying, push, 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 push here. And that's what they're doing. Six man down. Complete wipe here. Hat crits. Hat is running the crits, Craig. Um, so, to me, um, that really tells me that they're probably going to intend to defend this one, but they're not going to manage to make it work. Like, their brother's too aggressive for that one. There is crits, Craig, and also for Maryland, actually. We have double crits. This is going to be fantastic, but I love this. I uh, know, uh, I do love this, but that's been pretty interesting from Hat. You know, like, on Badlands, crits, Craig, defending last, pushing out? It's... Difficult, especially if the other team had Uber, but Maryland has crits, Craig, so it's slightly easier... Um, oh god, both teams are going to be aggressive here. There's no oh, pyro. Oh, this is going to be an atomic bomb. This is, quad there's goes literally going to be... Cadis. Oh, look at oh. Cadis actually already weak. The crits is going to hit the both teams at the exact same go. time. Here we go. Oh, oh Cadis gets taken down. Oh, Rib gets the better of Cadis. Rib showing the experience. Cadis, the new kid on the block, so to speak, in comparison to Rib. And Rib showing how it's done. And it's 4-4. Four, four. Kader's got 100 damage on him when he really shouldn't have, and in the end, one crit stick, you managing to take him down straight at his feet, as both men got crits at the exact same time, kind of out mind gaming themselves there. As the score now, 4-4, four four. anything look. can happen. Remember, last time, Rib did not get focused, and Broder actually won a middle. I was just going to say, look at the points on each team. They're so, so even. The Medics are on 67 just till now. Brute Mirrorland went to 68. The Soldier gets focused like hell, but they have lost two players down here, including Mirrorland here, Broda. BFF with a reply. What can they do? Kade is getting a lovely grenade onto Cookie, and it's a wipe for Broda, but they did kill the Medic and two Soldiers, but the problem is now it's two Scouts. Yeah, exactly. And Kade is not to make... Look at the health, by the way. I always... <laughs> I always laugh when I see this kind of health. Like, obviously, it's a wipe. It doesn't matter. And look at that. Kate is sticking up far forward. He's going to walk back up, take the extra map back. And obviously, the scouts are going to back him up there. 
Broder is going to either have to be super greedy to block this one, but really, I do not think they have the manpower to uh, it. Looks like Zebesai's having a go. Zebesai's oh, having a go. Yep, he's going to block it. That's a scout for a scout, and Cadus is on his own. He needs to be focused. Cadus is so, so weak. Tech goes down. Oh, Cadus, you lucky boy. No one focused him far enough, but they are. Two oh players down a piece. Beautiful grenade there by Beaven, chucking it over the spiral. Beaven goes down. I don't like Beaven, actually. He's been dying too much for my liking on these second pushes, if you've not noticed, Pledge. Every time they push for a transitional, they d he ends up dying too early for my liking. And the soldier pushes them back here to say, you know what, can you get out here, Cadus? This is our cap point. This is huge plays and a great reverse. And they're coming in with grit. No one's no! seen him! Oh, it's a triple kill with grits! Kadus going huge and saying, ah, ha, ha, this is my point. God, I know how much Kadus hates crits, but in that kind of scenario, you got to feel good as Delman, man. Everyone's stacking up on that one, getting the triple kill. And by the way, can I just say, freaking Zebesai went huge on that Spire. It was due to him and him alone that they managed to hold that one, but he could not prevent the crit sticky coming out from main area, catching all three of them off guard and even taking down Marilyn in the very end. As Broder right now back in the seat. They cannot stand up. They cannot rush forward anymore. They're back with their with their backs against the wall. Really, they're just going to have to wait and see. How is this one going to pan out for them? Bibman going back to that pyro, which has saved them before. Is it going to uh, save them this time, though? Six minutes remaining on the clock for all. This is getting pretty intense. Obviously, they have crit squeak. The pyro needs to come out here from Bibman, and he's going to need to go huge. He's, he's guessed that they're coming bottom, but they're not. They're coming top. Oh dear, what's the soldier going to be able to do? Oh, the crit's actually not playing effective at all. And there's something on the point, but he's going to get taken down here. It's four versus four. Will they try and repush? They will. They're going to try and focus on this point here. The scout is weak and it's four players down here. But BMF soldier on the point. He gets taken down. Where is Cadus? Cadus will be going for this. Cadus is bottom left here. Fledge, can anyone focus him? Cookie's <laughs> seen him. Oh, I got, they got oh, spot. Let's see. He's too scared. He's yeah. too scared. Well, it, it's, it's fair. It's fair, really, <laughs> because Marilyn obviously already has that Eber charge. You gotta keep in mind it's 4 4. In this scenario, if Cadis does not push there, BFF has a very strong hold onto Broder here. They cannot easily push out on this. They're gonna try, but they're not easily gonna be able to do that, especially with Tech sitting on last like he's been doing all, the, all game long already. With 4 4, you don't wanna risk all of it, especially with this little time left. Broder's doing it though, very aggressive here. How much is this Uber gonna do for them though? It doesn't look like it does a lot. Oh, they need to start capping. They are. Quad's going for last. Quad's going. And Dalith. Dalith and Quad going for last. Oh, dear. They're in trouble. Cookie's gone to help. Oh, Tech. Really? Can he do it? Oh, no, Cookie's no, on this. No, no, no. Cookie's going to get taken down. Oh, what can Cookie do? Oh, oh. my God. <laughs> Cookie with huge plays. Oh, my God. Cookie going huge. Saving Brode with the round. What can that soldier do? He gets owned. And they're actually going to cap this. I don't believe it. Really oh. capping it? No way. Yeah, okay, there we go. Beaven actually does take down his MSI. Uber got forced off of though, and that was really a let's play it safe Uber from half there. He was like, no, 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 wait. We're not going to die here and get wiped. We're not going to lose this fire. I'm just going to use it. We're going to play it safe, build this Uber again, and stay at their last. They want to keep pressuring this as much as possible without losing any critical players to make sure that they don't lose this one 5-4 to four at the very last. And to be fair... With only four minutes left on the clock, still anything can happen. But Broder's in a tough spot here. They're, they've, they do have uber advantage though. They need to push now on the dot. Zebosai has calculated this and he's going forward. They need to get uh, this point capped. Because I can just see them pushing here really hard. Because Hat's going to have uber in time. They're pushing trash. The soldier hasn't seen a stick. He's on the balcony, but Cadus doesn't dance in time. What are they going to do? They don't have Uber in time. That soldier's going to get picked off, surely. Cookie goes down, so they have no one to carry Boat at the scouts moment. to last. Boat scouts to last oh. now for BFF. They're going to have to rush it. They're rushing it. Are they going to be able to cap it in time? They might. They might. Oh, yes, they, they will. As Quad and Beaver and rush that last. Take down the heavy Broder tech. And to be fair, Broder, they got blocked there on the second point. The essential teamwork block that came out for that one with the double scout backup. That was spot on communication. And Broder now in a world of trouble. Three minutes or so remaining and they're 5-4 down, but they got to have to shift it up now. They're going to have to do that, but Rib's going to get focused here as soon as Rib goes down. He's actually playing really smart here, very passive, waiting for his team to go in first. The soldier comes in first. He's going to get picked off. It's really weak. That's so, so weak. No one's focused out, but they're all really weak underneath BFF. Why is no one clearing up, hat goes down. 
Three players down here, some players really weak here for BFF, they're going to get picked off so easy, that soldier's going down as well. And it's three versus three, but Broda have the better players in terms of health, and look at this, that scout is not weak enough, but <laughs> Broda do get this with 2 minutes 35 on the clock, I bet Mirilin will be going it's crit. crits. It's crits, he, already changed, he already changed the crits, and now as the spawns change, there he goes to crit streak, ready to rock and roll. And Hat, I can only assume he's going to go regular Uber and yeah. just hold. Pray to God that they don't go crits, but really, I think BFF, the first thing they said, I bet Marilyn is going crits. So they're, <laughs> gonna, they're gonna be aware of this one, and if they're not, they don't deserve to win Badlands. I'm calling it. There we go. Uh... I'm gonna have to wait and see how useless this crit's gonna be. It's all gonna come down to that. And Broder already pushing, showing their aggression, not showing their crit streak. I love this so much. They're gonna try and get some time done before the crits hits. 90%. Oh. I, think BF, I think BFF has spotted this one. Look how far back Scouts on his own on the spiral. They need to be careful. They don't have Uber in time. They need to start camping or pushing with the crit squeak. Oh, Are they crit the squeak? And Cadus goes down. Cadus goes down. That's a huge play scout on the balcony. No one's seen him. He's about to go down as well. He goes down as well. They are gonna have this. Four last. Oh, this is getting on to be really close. It could be close to 6 5, you know. Could go to a golden cap in pledge. <laughs> I'm so Got excited. It. We're gonna have to Ooh. wait and see. They're gonna try and push in here just the force. They're gonna force it. They have to. They have to. 100 HP. Uh, there we go. Let's go. The point. Good force. Good force there. As now, right now, everyone from Brodus is gonna back out of this one. They have the crit streak advantage. And I can only assume <laughs> that Beaver and Orquad or both are gonna NG Pyro everything. He heavy, heavy. They're <laughs> confused. Look at them switching classes. <laughs> Beaver is gonna uh. pick a Pyro and the crit streak is gonna come knocking at their door in three seconds. Here we go, actually. Oh, the crit streak side's gone down. What can they do? They take down Beaven? What else can they do? The crit is still in. But the heavy's not waking up. Got a double <laughs> That's got a triple oh. Uber soul and got the Uber off. Are you kidding me? As the guy just went in, he was like, screw it, I'm not going to be able to defend against this crit on my own. Went in, got the triple Uber soul and the Uber Dual off. spy, surely. Dual spy. It's got to be a dual spy. Just one so far. Uh, they can't let him cap that, though. They can't let them cap that. The scout's seconds. gonna have to drop out. 30 seconds. He's not gonna have Uber in time, so it's do or die, but everyone needs to go in collectively. Quad goes down here. This is really close. They can't afford to do that. Seven on players. last. Seven size on last. Bite. Here we go. Oh, seven gets the, gets the snap. Oh, this they is have 20 is seconds surely. left on the clock. Man, they got it. I think got they got it. They've got to get this, surely. Oh no. The heavy's defended. Tech, oh. what can you do? Tech coming in from the bottom right hand side. Can Tech be able to do this on this own? Can Tech the soldier? Can Tech the soldier down? Oh, can Tech do it? Oh my god, I oh can't god, believe it! Yes, he gets it! <laughs> and with three seconds oh left on the clock, god. I cannot believe this. Broder's gonna be able to cap it off. <laughs> Tech and Marilyn together. Huge. And we're going into a golden Huge. cap, ladies and gentlemen, here in the first map of ETF 12 Season 14, powered by Twitch.tv. As uh, this is week number seven oh on Battlements and Granary, ladies and gentlemen. Good old Battlements and Granary. <laughs> And we have a golden cab, and Mr. Fight himself was right in pre-game. It is going to be 6-5. Let me borrow your time machine next time. That will make this casting a lot easier. That was great. Oh that was my great. God. That. that was beautiful. I've got to admit, with Mirilin going in, balls deep, and Tech calling it and sinking it, that was just absolutely beautiful. And if you notice, Tech had the pain train. So times two capped so quickly. Oh, that was well deserved. Um, well played to Broda there. Coming out with a reply after the shutdown that Beaven did is heavy and it's gonna go to 6-5 but I did say it would go to BFF not to Broda You're not completely um, right yet <laughs> Yeah, not completely right yet but but um, I'd be interested to see what they do here Pledge I think they'll try and do what they were normally doing here BFF and which is taking down Rib straight away and yeah. it seems to be the trend where they take down Rib and it's easy pickings then after that Rib may go down, but he does do a lot of damage. Looking at the damage stats actually for that last round here, played, Rib was on 1,571 kills, and Cadus was on 1,281. Yeah, And then the big ass soldiers, so let's say Zebasai and Hawks, 1,225 and 1,082. Yeah, they damage, did well so. that last round. That last round was intense, and really both teams showing how good they actually are. Broda really nudging that with three seconds on the clock. We're going to go to a golden cap, ladies and gentlemen. That one's going to start right now. I'm very, very interested to see who's going to take this one. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Marilyn has got Medigun. He's changed from that crit screen. Running crit screen and all the setup time and has changed the Medigun. I love the little mind games that you can see coming across here as we're going to cover this game. The last bit of this game, ladies and gentlemen. Golden cap. Who's going to pick up this map and take it 2-1 ETF 12 scoreline? And then moving on to Granary. We're going to have to wait and see this middle. Rib under a lot of pressure. Bites. Soldier going Kamikaze on Rib. Soldier's going to focus him. 
no one's actually taken down the soldier. Rip's gonna go down. No one's. Oh, the roller kills Dayla. Dayla doesn't manage to kill Rip, and they are two plays down. The soldier is in no man, no man's land. But Merlin does go down. Hat does stay alive. Are they going to chase? Surely Zebaside saying push, 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 push. This point is asked for free. What can Cadus do here? Cadus is probably thinking, yeah, no way. maybe. No he, way, he, surely. He's probably going to spam, but that is really all that he can do. Scout already rushed through. Scout's going to try and take that. Many great oh. pipes there from Cadus. Gets a half stick. Oh, they're going to try and stop. They're going to try and stop. Look at this. Look at this. Cadus trying to stop. He missed jump. But he's missed it. He missed jumped it. <laughs> Cadus, of all moments that he can miss, jumped it. He overshot his shot there. Hat's going down. Hat's 11 over. HP. Oh, Bibbon. Bibbon, how did you miss? Oh, he did 130 odd damage, and Hat is the on. Nerves, man. Good news Damn is nerves. they have Uber advantage. They have Uber advantage. Crits. And crits. Yeah, cr crits. Or crits advantage. Oh, do you reckon not push? Surely Brodo should be saying, don't hold so far back. Come on, surely. They're going to push, let them in for free. Why? Uh, no. this is, I don't like this. I don't like this. Broder's backing out because they have crits. Uh, this crits, this, this yeah, might be a tail. Oh, but Cadus is, is in on. And he takes down Zebasai. Are you going to take down Rib? Broder's dead. Broder's just completely dead here, but uh, I think they overplayed that one. As they were defending a little bit too much, and BFF just said, thank you very much. Free point for us here, and actually free kills. Broder does manage to do pretty, pretty well here, though. Bibbit, if you can take up one more, that'll be absolutely fantastic. But the point obviously goes to BFF here. And what are the medics going to spawn with? I am very curious, because Marilyn, again, he has a spawn advantage on him, and he is going to run Medigun. So they're going to go back to normal play. That scout needs to be careful, Bibbit. You need to be very careful. Yeah, he's been spotted. He needs to get out. Oh, they're sticking front door. Okay, this has gone from Stonebridge. Soldier onto the balcony. Kills oh. that Marilyn. Hawk's going huge. Yo, Hawk's is an absolute monster at this moment in time. He's been make, he's, he's killed Marilyn, I think, three times already. This golden cap alone. He's doing a fantastic job for his team at this moment in time. Actually, I look on the board. He has three kills in total this round. All three were Marilyn. <laughs> so that pretty much explains what the hell's been going on this round so far. As BFF... Pretty much hoxing single handedly, taking the Maryland every time. And now with Bibbon and Cookie and Tech all off classing, Proto's gonna have to hold on to this one and hold on tight because this is their only chance of actually winning this map and not giving BFF that semi final slot, which they pretty much want to. Indeed, I can just, uh, I could, like, for the love of me, I don't know why I pledge, but I think that BFF are gonna go for. Uh, an awkward push, maybe? Oh no, I was going to say top left, but they've gone top right instead. The Pyro's still on the point, doing his job. But Cookie goes down onto the point. Sicky's on the point. Sicky's blown. What can Rib do? Heavy onto the point. Cadus on the point. They need to be careful. It's four men down here. It's ripped out. And it's 1 0 to BFF. So 6 5 overall to BFF, let <laughs> I'm not going to say anything onto that one, as Byte predicted it 35 minutes ago. Mr. Byte said in his prediction, I'm going to say 6-5 to BFF. He did not specify gold cap, but he did say 6-5 to BFF. So I'm going to let them have that one. That was a great prediction, and that was a great game. Let's sort of say it about that one. As BFF manages to pick up the first map here against Broder. An ETF 12 Season 14, sponsored by Twitch.tv. In week number 7 here on Badlands and Granary. Granary's going to come up here in a little bit over at Vanilla TV. With pledging by casting, water on the camera. We're going to have a slight break, ladies and gentlemen. Don't go anywhere, because when we'll be back, we have a sick second game. Pretty much as sick as that first one. I can almost promise you that one. Stay tuned. <laughs>